What's going on everybody? I'm right here doing me show you the Samsung Galaxy S2 benchmark test. But first of all I'd like to clarify that a uh, this is a I910G which has a new Cortex A9 processor um which reduces the risk of uh, overheating and um uh, battery drainage and it's kind of a little bit better than the Exynos processor but this uh, I think uh, but this has a little bit underclocked by Samsung, so um, the test might be lower. So I'm going to use the M22 benchmark, and um, here here's the scores I got from previous tests. So I'm just going to show you inf some information. GTI 910G, Samsung T1, and uh, GPU version, almost one gigabyte of um. RAM and you got extra your SD card which is the 16 gigabyte 13 gigabyte Android 2.3.6 build gingerbread oh no I'm not going to show you the email and oops and I'm going to run the test again so you can see it yeah. Alright, so here's the um, scores I get from N22 benchmark, uh, the test. Oh, as the card is more than 50 Mbps. So the total score is 5519. RAM 706, 413, So quite a good um, score. So let's look at the score chart. So where where is our where is this phone ranking? Alright, so I'm a bit higher today, 5519, because yesterday I was actually below um, LG Optimus 2X. So um, yesterday I was actually lower than that. But today um, our my device has gone up. High, uh, a little bit higher than LG Optimus 2X, but um, the Galaxy Nexus, which at my bottom, has gone up. So um, the highest is as is a Transformer Prime, followed by the um, Galaxy Note, Galaxy Nexus, Galaxy S2, and yeah, mine is a little bit because um, this Galaxy S2 is actually Exynos processor, and mine is Cortex A9. So. This is the benchmark test for um, Samsung Galaxy S2. Well, quite high, not bad. So, um, this is quite a good phone. So, here's the um, benchmark test for S2. So, consider subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment this video, and I'll be back with more videos. See you next time. Goodbye.